good morning friends living christianly colossians chapter 3 verse 18 to chapter 4 verse 6 joseph was sold to egypt and he served a rich egyptian named potiphar whose wife fancied him she tried to seduce him but joseph avoided her seduction attempts though she was persistent Joseph had set the example for all Christians instead of tolerating sexual immorality stop it even from its earliest signs thoughts and words Paul explains the root cause of the shame weakness and violence of the world is that men and women are living in lust and desires of the flesh The apostle's word to a wife is submit yourself to your husband follow him not in things that are wrong according to your conscience it is a voluntary submission it is right in the sight of god husbands are to honor value respect god protect show delight in their wives they are not to be sarcastic bitter resentful towards their wives these things are especially harmful to women children are exhorted to listen to their parents recognizing that they are over them and have authority in their lives parents should help their children to please and give glory to god and be obedient disobedient children are always a cause of the difficulty fathers should not keep on irritating their children hammering away nagging their children else they will become discouraged paul then exhorts slaves to personally control themselves and obey their masters not outwardly or with a heart of resentment but with genuine service and masters be concerned about how generously and justly you treat your workers remembering that they will be judged by god in heaven finally as a christian response to daily circumstances must be prayer prayer must be the central practice of our lives we should watch and pray jesus told to peter james and john in the garden of gethsemane watch and pray lest you enter into temptations paul reminds us to be sensitive and wise in the way we act but to make the most of every opportunity because the days are evil opportunities for witness among us are abound on every side be gracious it means to be pleasant and courteous to be easy to live with let us begin at home and from there move on to all of our life putting off the old ways and putting on the new life with jesus in our hearts living graciously sensitive but salty lives let us pray dear lord please remove evil desires and anything that leads to sin in our life give us the strength and wisdom to continually be putting on love and direct our life to always exemplify christ in jesus name we pray amen God bless you and have a wonderful day ahead.